Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball and this is another video for Teals Unit 2. Um, in this we're completing Lab 2.6. Uh, we're going over um, how to make it so that we can kind of move this dyno. Um, the first thing that we're going to do um, is we want to <clears throat> add a piece of our code that allows our dyno to jump up. So we want to use a repeat loop with a block in it that will move dyno up. Um, this is actually pretty um, simple. I am going to take another if block I'm going to add it inside of my forever loop right here because this is probably the best way we have really to take input is that forever loops continuously checking to see if that input is there. Um, I'm taking this sensing uh, block right here which is probably going to be our most useful tool. Um, there is a reason why um, I'm not using this uh, when I when this key bar space key bar is pressed right now. It just kind of fits into my script. It could be a decision to use this later instead, so I'll leave it in. Um, so if this key space is pressed, we want basically to jump. I am going to say change x y by ten. So let's go ahead and see real quick if that works. So of course we fall, and if I press space as I'm doing now, the dino jumps. Um, that's pretty simple. The second part of this uh, is that we want to say, um, you know, one, uh, dino jumps anytime the sp space bar is pressed, even if it's in Mariner. How do we make it so dino can only jump when it's on the ground or on the platform? And then we also want to add code as well so that dino will move left to right with the arrow keys. Um, so let me show you how we can sort of change left to right with the arrow keys. I'm going to duplicate what I already have. Set it right here. Duplicate one more time. Um, again, this is pretty simple. We've seen it in some of the do nows that we've worked on before where we're debugging. Um, it's basically we want our conditions to check if our left and right arrow are being pressed. So here I'm going to take the change y's out and as you would expect, I'm just putting in a change x. So our change x right arrow is going to be positive. I'm going to put it at 5. And then our change x for the left arrow is going to be negative because I do want to move uh, left in the coordinate system. So I'm going to press that. And now, as you can see, I can move the dyno left or right. And I can jump as well to get on top of the platform. Um, now the question is, how do we make it so that we can only jump when we're on the ground? Well, we pretty much take um, the same condition that we've already created right here and use that. So this right here, we wanted to check and say, hey, if it's not on the ground or on the platform, change y by negative 2. So now we want to do the same thing, except we want to test for it in the positive. And I'm actually going to move this um, out, and I'm going to use an OR operator. Because I want to say, if we are touching either the ground or the platform, you're OK to jump. So I'm putting this right here. And I am going to say if this is true. So the third thing I'm going to do also is add another and condition. So I'm going to check three conditions. So I'm checking is the space bar pressed? Are we touching the ground? Or are we touching the platform? However, I can be touching either the platform or the ground. And then that, that's the conditions that I need in order to jump. So we're going to click flag again. You can see I can move right or left. So I can jump. And here, I can only do so if I'm on the ground. So a little bit of uh, some refinement needed to the script, but it accomplishes the mission. Um, the last part of this is, in last part of the, the challenge that's added to this lab is, in reality, gravity pulls down with a constant acceleration and not constant speed. Um, how can we change our code to model gravity as a constant acceleration instead of a constant speed? Um, what I might say is that we would have a change y right here, and then I would start a variable that would help uh, sort of increment so that it would uh, continuously grow every single time. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it where it is. But, uh, you know, if we're having a trouble with that, please leave a, a comment down below the video on uh, if you'd like me to go over that, and it's certainly something that I can add. But that, students and teachers, is how we go through the second part of Lab 2.6.